So we have with us the 57 kilo champ, Natalie Richards. And uh, first thing that we want to do is just, if you have anything that you want to say, or if Steve, if you have anything that you want to say to start off with, we'll start off with that and then we'll open it up to questions. All right. All right. Um, really just thank you to everyone who supported me with the gym, Doug, Lindsay, and then all the guys that came to support me today as well. Uh, Wes, Grayson, and Jovi, and this Steve, Steve Reno here. Yep. So thank you guys. And Steve, grab that mic closer to you. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, so, I mean, Steve, do you want to talk about uh, the performance that Natalie put up? Yeah, I mean, it was fantastic. We've been only been working together for a short time, I think 15 weeks. And I mean, I told her when we first started yeah. working together, we may not push because I mean, the Carpino score for 478, that was something she could she could do on like second attempts. So we didn't know from the get go if we were going to be pushing. But I mean, it's been fantastic so far. We've hit a good rhythm on pretty much all three lifts. The training was going really well. Um, and even leading in, uh, we learned a lot of stuff that will probably change going into Worlds. Um, the peaking block probably wasn't actually the smoothest, but it turned out really well today with some things we did in the last couple weeks to kind of uh, dissipate a bit of fatigue and she just crushed it today. She did scare me with tempoing her, her opening deadlift because she was Keep so scared about going up and down and then she ended up using, moving that 221.5 faster than her opener, so. Yep, <laughs> I like to keep you on your toes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I heard you at one point say, we're going to Malta. Um, what, when was that? Was that on, was that on the first deadlift? Yeah. First deadlift. She had it locked in on her yep. opener. Yep. Wow. Spectacular. Yep. So we had that planned out from the get go. Cause I had, I mean, fortunately the, uh, national record was only in, in comparison to what she can deadlift was only 187.5. So we knew whatever we needed on that opener, we were just going to put in, um, if she had hit that third bench, it only needed 193. So I had it all written down of exactly what we were going to need to hit that 478. Prepared. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Natalie, first of all, I just want to say congratulations on your first uh, Powerlifting America National Championship. Thank you. <laughs> if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you, I mean, you knocked this out of the park. It was a PV squat, if I'm not mistaken, PV bench. Is that right? Um, no, on the, I've squatted a little bit more in squat. Yeah. Okay. I think I benched a little bit more before, but deadlift, yes, personal okay. best all and, time. And total as well. Yeah. Yeah. And Tipped to put it. this in perspective, this 501.5 kilo total is now the number one total in the history of drug-tested powerlifting at 57 kilos. How does that make you feel? It's pretty cool. And is that, <laughs> you know, that could arguably be the shot heard around the world with the Sheffield coming up. Um, might you anticipate these two girls upping the total or, you know? Oh, I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna up it. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I'm ready. Yeah, you're ready? Yeah. And, and you're going to Malta, so yeah. hopefully you can lock horns with them in the future. Yes. Yeah, very cool. So on that note, Natalie, you won't be at Worlds, but you're or at Sheffield, but your number will be there, and so they'll have to talk about you now at Sheffield. It's so, exciting. Yeah, it's really exciting. <laughs> Who else has a question? Um, seemed like the only like minor blip on the day was bench. Was that an attempt selection issue you think, or a peaking's issue? Um, uh, I just strength. <laughs> I think I unracked it a little bit weird, and then just at that point, it was like. Yeah, without, tough. <laughs> without 105 move, I was really yeah. confident yeah. she had 110, and she's hit 110 multiple times in training. Yeah. Um, I told her afterwards, I immediately noticed when she went to unrack it, she was further back on the bench. Mm -hmm. So I think that flattened her out a little bit in the sense that she said she touched lower because of that, which would be a very common yeah. thing when you kind of flatten out that rib cage, you're going to eventually touch lower and dump that bar away. So I think, I mean, when you get to those max attempts, I mean, you, yeah. there's that's where you have to be perfection with technique. Those little slight deviations can make a big difference, and so we'll come back and nail that yep. next time. Pretty much. Um, I was just going to ask, I mean, obviously, Natter, you, you and I have a little bit of history because I coached against you last year at Nationals with working with Celine. Yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had an unfortunate incident at Nationals, obviously, where we bombed in the deadlift. And so I just wanted to ask you, um, first of all, I wanted to say, Steve, great call on the opening deadlift because you locked in the Carpino, which was, I think was a wise and very strategic play. N did you have in the back of your mind, you know, given the last experience um, and knowing that you had to tidy things up a little bit, was that kind of weighing on you heavily, or were you confident based on the technical corrections that you made in the training? Uh, obviously, I was still nervous. Like, we changed a little bit with my grip. We switched from hook to uh, mixed grip, yep. like, I don't know, four weeks ago. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it definitely made me a lot more confident. So that was good. Like, I did have that in the back of my mind, like, okay, don't do anything stupid, uh, my opener. But after that, <laughs> so I tempoed it. You're welcome. Yeah. After that, I felt so much more confident and it's really not like an issue anymore because I do feel like our technique is cleaned up a lot. Yeah. All right. Any one last final question so we can let Natalie get out of here? Um, I guess just walk us through what was going through your head uh, during that third deadlift. 
<laughs> Nothing is. Uh, well, she asked me before her opener, what should yeah. I be thinking about going into deadlift? And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, well, and she started listening. I was like, no, just go lift it. Yeah. You're good. You have this. Just go lift it. There's no issues anymore. I mean, I was incredibly confident in her strength as well as like looking back to the, the mishap with the shoulders. There's a lot of things that have been corrected. Um, it just is a non-issue anymore. So. Yeah. It was just like, go out there, get it. Like you earned this weight. So it was fun. It was fun. All right. That's it. Well, let's All right, go. Thank you. All right, thank, thank you so much.